Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about Virtual DJ 8 Auto Mix Editor. Uh, we're just going to go over it real quick. Uh, first, let's go to our Auto Mix. You can find the Auto Mix here in your side window. It's down here. You click this button and it will take you right to your, your Auto Mix. But in what your Auto Mix is, it's basically just uh, a playlist. And so that way, if you're going to be gone, you can let Virtual DJ go on autopilot for a while. And if you go over here to options, there's already a, a list of different kinds of uh, auto mixes that you can play with and uh, see which one's right for you. But sometimes, even uh, with the auto mix, Virtual DJ usually does a pretty good job, but every once in a while you just want to tweak it just a little bit. Um, so we're going to use the auto mix editor. So we're going to go over here, go back to our menu, and we're going to click auto mix editor. It's going to bring up our window. Let's make it nice and big. Now, first you're going to see the waveforms. Obviously, it's the waveform for the first track, second track, third track, etc. And these blue boxes right here, these are your actual transitions, and these are the things that you're going to get to tweak. Now, keep in mind with the auto mix editor, you're not going to be able to do loops or you know fire off samples. You're not going to be able to do anything crazy. It's basically just tweaking that mix, so that way it's it's a a, a little a little nicer mix. Virtual DJ usually does a pretty good job, but just in case it's not, you can fix it here. Um, you can zoom in and out by using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Grab this blue bar, and you can drag through the, the tracks. Now, with all these tracks, it's great, but what you're really going to be messing with is these blue boxes, which is the transitions. Now, you can select the blue boxes by clicking on them. You can also go over here, and you can see this is your playlist, and it highlights these two tracks, any two tracks, actually, and if I click on the second line, now instead of selecting the first one up here, which is what we were just looking at, it's selecting our second one from uh, this song to this song. And click on the first one. If you wanted to do like this one from Definite Grooves to Ghetto Soldier, uh, we would click on Definite Grooves, the top one. So, But let's go right into making uh, a mix. Let's say that we wanted to move this mix back a little bit. You see how this one is just decided to go way here. To, to do that and let's say we want to cut this one out early so let's take this track we're gonna move it and we can just grab it and we're just dragging it okay and then we're gonna take our transition and we're gonna grab the beginning line right here let's zoom in a little bit the beginning line see the double arrow pops up and then we can drag it now we're making it longer so let's go ahead and um, you can't you see it won't let me drag it past the beginning of the first song because it's not saying you can't transition before a song even starts so, but uh, oh, and also too, when you when before we finish up these lines here, we're gonna want to make sure that they line up. Here you see beat mat, uh, BPM matches on. You can turn it off if you want, but uh, we're gonna leave it on for uh, for this one. So let's line these up right here. Okay, now our our lines, our blocks match up. Just a hair. BPM uh, virtual DJ is gonna fix that for us. So. Let's go ahead right to here. We will start right at the beginning. This one we're going to drag back and go right to the end of this line here. Now, uh, just to let you know, anything outside the blue box is now going to no no longer be inside of our transition. Okay, uh, like when it hits here uh, on the top song here, the ending song, this is all going to be dead. It's it's going to be out because by the time it hits this. This song is going to be muted, and the song is going to be over. Uh, likewise, down here, the song is not even going to start until it hits the blue box, and so all this in front of it is going to be completely muted. So if you have a song where there's a lot of talking, maybe there's you know a weird intro that you want to get past, you're going to not want to start it till it's right there, and everything before that is going to be muted. Um, down here, you can play it if you want to uh, test it out, and like I said, you can jump back and forth to uh, any mix that you want and go in and, and fix them. So anyway, uh, that's just a quick tutorial on uh, the Auto Mix Editor. We'll go into it in a little bit more detail later on. So until then, uh, my name is Echo Papa, and if you like this video, make sure you click like. If you really like it, please share it with your friends, and I will talk to you guys later.